Hey guys, it's Lakeisha Hankins here from LakeishaHankins.com and I wanted to be able to bring you this video for the week. Um, I was, you know, trying to do it from my computer, but the laptop is just acting up this morning. So regardless, I'm going to get this done because many of you have reached out to me and asked me, you know, how do you do it all? How do you balance it? You know, work, you know, family, you know, church life. And Guys, depending on when you ask me this question in my life, the answer changes. And over the last couple of weeks myself, I had to really just sit back and just reflect in my own life. And about the time I got done talking about this whole life balance, I was at the point where I was like, you know what, screw life balance and just do you. Yes, screw life balance because there's no such thing as, you know, 100% life balance. I do believe in order, you know, you always have me say it, in order for you to be successful all areas of your life, you know, you have to have some kind of balance. And what I mean by that is that you cannot neglect your family. You cannot neglect your other responsibilities that you have because of your passions or, you know, whatever it is that you're doing in your life. But let's just face it. When you're passionate about something, there are many nights where it's like, you know what, you can't sleep because the only thing you can do is eat, think, and drink, and breathe about your business because you're that passionate about it. So why should you have to, you know, shrink back? And when I say shrink back, I'm saying shrink back because that's one of the things that I noticed that I did over the last couple of weeks. Because my business was doing great. I had so much great momentum building in it and growing. My team was growing. People on my team having success. Every day I was cranking out a video or you saw me marketing my business like crazy. Hustling out there to, you know, make it happen. But I believe in working harder now so I can play hard later. But what happened is I started to listen to all the different naysayers that said, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you're so busy. You know, um, how do you do it? You know, all those different things. And that stuff starts to sink into your head. And you really sit back and you start to think, you are know, like, okay, am I really doing too much? Is this really too busy? Am I going to be able to keep up? Or am I going to overwhelm myself? Guys, and the question, the answer is, you know, it's a personal decision. But like I said, at the end of the day, you're making sure you don't neglect, you know, God, family. You know, all those things, of course, come first. But when you're building a business in the beginning, it's going to require, you know, some sleepless nights. Some nights that you're going to stay up late. You know, that's going to, it's going to happen in your business. But you do want to make sure you have a success team in place, right? You want to be able to outsource some things. You want to be able to get some help around the house. You know, not feel bad when, okay, I washed the laundry, but guess what? It's been sitting in that basket or sitting on the sofa for the last three days to, waiting to get folded because apparently it does not fold itself. But you have to let go of that guilt too, especially as moms. We carry on so much guilt of so many things on our to-do list that we didn't get to, right? So my tip for you are is the things that you don't enjoy doing, like the laundry, the dishes, do those things first before you start working on your business, okay? Whatever needs to be taken care of, do that. Because when I start working on my business, sometimes I'm just so excited that I can look up three, four hours later, guess what, I'm still working, I'm still grinding. And you shouldn't be have to feel bad about that, right? As long as, like I said, the other areas of your life are not neglected. So you definitely want to make sure you have a dream team in place. And a dream team means, guys, as you're building your business, you can't ex continue or expect to do this on your own. You want to be able to have ex assistance. You want to be able to ha have a team, someone to help, uh, you know, too, even with the chores around the house. Make sure you have some kind of systems in place. Get rid of the naysayers, those that say you are crazy, those that say, oh, my gosh, you're spending too much time on your business. You should quit. You should do your 9 to 5. Rome was not built overnight. Okay, your business is not going to be built overnight, but now is the time to build your business like crazy to, you know, make sure you have the incredible success that you that you deserve, that you desire. And I wanted to make sure I'm not forgetting anything else that I had wrote down and, you know, continue, like I said, to think big. You know, you small, think big, think big, get big result, results, right? And you don't want to be building this business forever. Like I said, definitely making sure you have a dream team in place, being able to outsource some stuff, continue to surround yourself around positive people, other people who are doing it and making it happen. And don't compare yourself is one of the other things I would say. Because one of the things I, you know, did or would find myself doing is I'm looking at the next 
person and like, oh my gosh, she's doing this, this and that. You know, I can't keep up. Stop competing. The only person you should be competing against is yourself. Do what you can with the time that you have. The thing is, don't procrastinate. Go out there. Take action. Hustle. If you're passionate about something, do it. And do not feel guilty about building your business, going after your dreams, or living the life of living your life, okay, on your terms. Do you at the end of the day. So screw the whole work-life balance. You know, that's it's easier said than done when you have a lot of money and you have systems in place from your business, then you can create have more of a more balance and structure in your life, okay? So that's my video for you for this week. Go out there and do you and knock somebody's socks off.